we know that you're over here because of your tour, but um, you know, you mentioned Will and Grace there, so we're, we're, and we, we saw the little clip. Um, it was such a huge hit, obviously, uh, around the world. Did, did you realize when you started working on the show that it was going to be this huge, groundbreaking international success? Oh, no, of course not. Um, I don't think anyone was at that level of prescience, uh, but then we were thrilled when it did have, seem to have some kind of impact on uh, tolerance and awareness yeah. for LGBTQ, this is a lot of letters now, um, Yeah, back issues. then you just had a leading yes. gay man. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> whole <laughs> element. Now yeah. you can't leave any of those letters out. No, you can't, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we were thrilled and, um, and now the show's coming back. So, fantastic. Yes. Great news. Yes. Great. It's great news. Never, uh, never happened before in the history of, I guess, uh, you know, half-hour network television in the States. They've never brought a show back. The same exact show, same cast, same director, right. same lighting designer. So is there designer. a threat talking there about how times have changed, actually, in those 11 years? Mm -hmm. Is there a pressure to make the show sort of slightly more progressive, or is it just going to be kind of more of the same? Yeah, I think it'll be, I mean, the main uh, priority is to have it be funny, yeah. and then I think it just goes from there. I mean, obviously, it's 11 years later, so everybody has social media now, and yeah. God yeah. forbid, you know, can you imagine what Karen Walker's social media would look like? <laughs> <laughs> do you, what do you want to happen to Karen next? Yeah, well, what would be your ultimate You know, the funny know. thing is, I had been saying in interviews before it was ever even an idea that the show had come back, people would ask me sometimes, what do you think Karen would be doing now? And I said, I think she'd be married to Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> and so we did this election video back in the fall that that became a huge sensation and, and spawned the the, the the resurgence of the show and they had they they had me being best friends with Donnie and Melania and they, <laughs> I, my character says that she helped Donnie pick out Melania <laughs> and you actually sang with him didn't you as well D did you have to remind me? Yes, 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 yes. yes. What was he like close up? Yeah. Oh well, uh, he's very sexy. No, I'm I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, well, oh. it was a few years oh ago. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it was during Will and Grace, and they were doing this dumb thing on the Emmys called Emmy Idol, and I thought it would be kind of hilarious to play this thing, sing the theme song to Green Acres as Karen with Donald Trump with the pitchfork. I thought, well, that's funny, because at the time, everybody just thought he was this funny kind of caricature of himself who was hosting... Uh, a reality show. Mm. Little did Little we. Little <laughs> But you are over here in a whole different genre. Yes. Not necessarily everyone will expect to see you. No, I, people don't really know that I sing. I've done a few shows on Broadway and a lot of other singing things. My, I started singing way before I ever thought of acting. And um, I have a band called Nancy and Beth, um, and we had a show at the Royal Festival Hall in London at wow. the Palace Theatre in Manchester. It was amazing. And uh, we have an album out that's available, nancyandbeth.com. Yeah. It's really selling, right? <laughs> Always be closing. Always. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I love the band. It's very, very entertaining. We, It's me and this uh, young woman who's 30 years younger than I, and we sing in harmony, and every song is choreographed. Yeah. Yes, the cover, uh, we, we ran out of money for wardrobe, uh, <laughs> so we are totally naked. No, the real reason, there we are, look. There I am in all my With glory. With strategic writing. Yes, strategically placed font. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I just thought I wanted it to be two humans on the planet, and it's not sexualized, and uh, it's just sort of about, you know, women and friendships and partnerships. And so do you just sing? Do you do you chat in between the songs? We do. It's, it's a band, so yeah. it's not, you know, scripted in between. We just kind of say whatever. And Stephanie's quite funny, and I, Stephanie Hunt is my band huh. partner, and uh, I'm, I've been known to be relatively amusing at times, and so <laughs> it's a really funny fun show. The songs are, there's a lot of wit. I do all the choreography. There's a lot of wit in the choreography and in the song choices themselves. And your so. voices yeah. go together really well. A lot. Most people after the show say they had no idea who was singing what. 
Yeah, we, that was how the band started. We, we, we sang together, it's a long story, we sang together and we just kind of looked at each other and we're like, this wow, wow. This really we, need to, <laughs> we need to keep doing this. Yeah, and we have a great kind of psychic connection for lack of a better word. No, but do you know, know that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's, it's, it's that unspoken telepathy that you have on stage. Yeah. That's, that, that's what makes yeah. the magic happen. Mm. And Megan, we sadly run out of time. Well, um, I'm but... not leaving. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I, I love it when a guest says that. That's yeah. fabulous. That's fabulous.